Hi everybody. Today we are going to learn about human body and its systems. What's a human body? It's a wonderful and beautiful entity in this world. It is showing responses to various systems which lie in its body. Right? Okay, we will see one by one those all the systems. The first one we will see digestive system, respiratory system, circulatory system, muscular system, and endocrine system, lymphatic system, excretory system, and the last one, nervous system. What is nervous system? This nervous system is the boss of all the systems in the human body, which controls and coordinates among all the systems. Now we will learn central nervous system. What is central nervous system? It is a network of more than 100 billion neurons, which control our actions, sense, surroundings and say who we are. The functional unit of nervous system, that's the central nervous system is neuron or uh, nerve cell. What's a neuron or nerve cell? Which collects and stores information and transmits information. We have mainly two components in the central nervous system. What are the two components of central nervous system? Let us know. Brain and spinal cord. Most of the neurons, mitotic cells, they are incapable of cell division. And they can leave a patient with a functional deficit. Right? Now we will learn about the brain. What's the brain? It's a soft tissue made up of many folds. Let's see how is the brain. Wow. It's a very beautiful thing, wonderful thing. Right. Now, let us see where brain's location. What is the locality of the brain? Brain is nothing but, it's situated in the crane. What is crane? It's a skull. Very strong one for skull. Right. Let's see how skull is. So strong. Wow. Brain mainly consisting some parts. What are the parts of the brain we will see? Brain broadly classified into three parts. Four brain, mid brain, high high brain. What is four brain? Mid brain, high brain. Let's know one by one. Right? Okay. Let us take now forebrain. Yes. This is the forebrain. Wow. Now you see, forebrain is nothing but the part which takes more place, largest part of the brain. It's consisting two parts furtherly. Cerebrum and diencephalon. Number one, cerebrum. And number two, diencephalon. Right? Now let us know cerebrum. What's cerebrum? It's the biggest part of the brain, especially in the forebrain. Right. Now let us see. What is cerebrum? Wow. It is the cerebrum. It's consisting of two hemispheres. It's not a sphere. It is part of two half parts. Two halves. What are those? Two hemispheres. Yes. It's looking like this. Two hemispheres which is connected partially by corpus callosum. Right, you can see now what is corpus callosum. And each of it made up of many folds. Right? Each fold consisting, see, one elevation and one depression. This elevation is called gyri and depression is called salsi. Right? And the brain consisting some more cortical parts, subcortical parts like hippocampus, basal ganglia, and alpha tree bulbs. Now you can see all these three structures here. 
let's know the functions of cerebrum. What's the cerebrum already I gave you introduction? Cerebrum is nothing but having the functions of reasoning, of memory, sensations, and body movements, listening, thinking, reading, writing, all the activities will be covered under the cerebrum. Right. Now let's know the parts. What are the parts? Parts of cerebrum. In the cerebrum already I told you there are two parts. Cerebrum is consisting of thalamus and hypothalamus. Other than we have broadly if you see, if you see, you find four parts, four lobes which you call. Okay, you will find that four lobes here itself. The first one, frontal lobe, which gives you abstract thinking. I mean thoughts. Simple and abstract thoughts. And of the frontal, let me say, parile. What's parile? A parile is nothing but, it is a secondary law. After the parental, it participates in the collection of sensory information from all over the body. From all over the body. Right? This is parile. The temporal, the third one, the third law is temporal. Right? Frontal, parile, temporal. What's the temporal? Participates in the visual information. For instance, watch a picture. It's not clear. Find something. It's not clear. Oh, this visual part will be under the control of which part of the brain's lobe, you know? Temporal. Okay, right. After temporal, the last one, occipital. What is occipital? Occipital is nothing but the last lobe which participates in controlling your sounds and your speeches. Let me say now the subcortical parts. Subcortical parts, what I taught you already. Like hippocampus, basal ganglia and olfactory bulbs. Let me say one by one about these parts. The first one, hippocampus, it's looking like horse, it's a great term, I'm seahorse looking like also, hippo is a horse, compass is a seahorse, so it is a great term which resembles the size and shape of it, but let me say the function of it, it participates in learning, memory, motivation and the emotions. What I taught you? Learning, memory, motivation and emotions. See that some of you lost memory. It participates in temporary, not permanent memory. Yes. The memory will be under the control of hippocampus. Right. Somebody lost one boy. Lost his memory. What he led to the question answer? Oh, something there is a defect. Something there is a defect in his drilling, which is not stored properly in the hippocampus. Right? Yes. After this we will come to know basal ganglia. What is basal ganglia? It is just below the forebrain and above the midbrain. Right. What does it do? What are the functions of the basal ganglia? It will control the voluntary movements like Procedural learning, right? Eye movements, eye movements, learning, learning and uh, movements of the body. These all will be under the control of basal ganglia, right? You can see those parts. Basal ganglia and hippocampus, we could learn more, right? Yes, these two are the parts. Okay. Now, let me know olfactory bulbs, what you call olfactory lobes, right? Okay, what is olfactory? It participates in the smelling, smelling, identification of smelling, smell. Okay, this is olfactory lobes. These all parts will be under the control of cerebrum. I mean, ultimately cerebrum, but these are all the subparts, subcortical parts. I taught you already, like hippocampus, basal ganglia, 
and olfactory bulbs or you can call lobes right and before this i must say you the layer which is covering the brain i mean cerebrum the topmost layer which control our five senses like vision hearing smelling sensation of touch and taste is all under the cover of the brain layer is the topmost of the the next part of the brain you will be watching in another video of my channel that is sks videos